In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a bootable Windows 10 USB. So this is a device that you're gonna use for when you're trying to install Windows to your new operating system, or you need to, that's one of the uses, there's other uses, but something like that. So it's very simple, make sure you watch the end so you don't get anything wrong and you don't end up bricking your PC or whatever. So the first thing you want to do is you need to go to Amazon and or somewhere like that and you need to get yourself a USB device. Now the USB device needs to be a minimum of 8 gigabytes, um, 8 gigabytes of storage so you can get these for like 5 to 10 dollars and if you're in the UK you know about the same 5 to 10 pounds. So that's something to note is you need to get one of these. The next thing that we want to do from here is we want to go onto the Windows website and uh, not Windows, we want to go to the Microsoft website and we want to go to the download Windows 10 section. So the URL is microsoft.com slash en dash us slash software dash download dash windows 10 percent 20. Now you could just type in download windows 10 like this and it's going to take you to this thing here. Now from here you want to click this download tool now and this is going to download the thing that we need. So from there we need to go and find the tool and open it. I'm just going to click on it here, but it will be in your download folder. So you want to press yes to let it uh, make changes. So it says it's getting a few things ready. So give it a few seconds while it, you know, gets itself working, and then you should be ready to start making it work. Okay, so first of all, you're going to be greeted by a notices and license terms thing like this. You just want to go through, read this if you want and accept it. And then it's going to say this, getting a few things ready after that. So give it a few seconds. Okay, from this point, it's going to ask you, what do you want to do? Upgrade this PC or create an installation media? We're going to be doing the bottom one. You want to hit next. And now it's going to ask us for some options. Now, if you're doing it for the PC you're using now, then you can keep this checked. If it's a new PC, you want to uncheck this. So what you would do here is you select the language, you select the edition, this is obviously Windows 10, and the architecture, so 64-bit, 32-bit, or both. Now once you've selected that, you can click Next, and it's going to ask you what media to use. So we want the options are ISO file or USB flash drive and obviously we're doing the USB flash drive so we want to do that. From here we're going to go to next and what you'd like to do here is refresh this here so that your drive pops up. So you can see F drive here this is the USB device that we've got and make sure that it's make sure that this is the right USB device. Uh, you don't want to do it onto anything um, you don't want to override anything or anything like that. Now something to note is that your USB, USB device does need to be uh, completely empty and it will get formatted so there'll be it will, all the items on it will be removed so make sure you know that. After you select the device click next and it's going to get a few things ready as it says and now it is going ahead to do it. It's downloading the Windows 10 thing onto the USB like this. Now once once that is um, installed onto that device, you can then eject it and you can then put it into the new computer that you've just built. So once you put it in, you'll be able to boot from that device. You can go into the BIOS and you can then um, select the device and boot from that. And that's how you do it. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below this helped. Thank you for watching.